Hello fellow adventurers, this is Cathy, the clumsy soper, welcoming you to our deep dive into the intriguing saga of soap making. Our expedition commences in the ancient worlds of Babylon and Egypt, where the birth of soap was a marriage of need and innovation. Picture life without soap. Difficult, isn't it? Yet, this was the scenario for primitive societies prior to the revelation of soap making. This captivating narrative of soap originates millennia ago, around 2800 BC. With the Babylonian culture, they were the pioneers, as far as we know, to perfect the craft of soap making. The realization that combining fats, potentially from the cooked meat, with the ash from their hearts led to a substance that facilitated cleaning chores considerably. However, this primitive was not the aromatic, indulgent commodity we're accustomed to today. It was a crude compound, mainly used for laundering wool and cotton to weave into fabric and for medical applications. Not far from Babylon, in the heart of Egypt, a parallel method was in place. Ancient papyrus manuscripts dated to 1500 BC depict Egyptians indulging in regular baths with a soap-like concoction of water, alkaline salts, and animal fats to ward off ailments and uphold personal cleanliness. This underlines that even in its formative phase, the potential of soap for hygiene and health was acknowledged. As societies expanded and trade routes emerged, the secret of soap making gradually spread from the Middle East to the broader world. Each culture welcomed this novel invention, infusing their regional ingredients and imparting their distinct spin to the method, influencing the transformation of soap as we experience it today. Consequently, the origin of soap making emerged from a fusion of need and innovation, a basic yet impactful revelation that set the course a revolution in personal hygiene and cleanliness, a revelation that would quite literally mold how we tidy ourselves up in the subsequent millennia. As this practice spread across continents, the Romans refined soap for bathing and health, marking a significant evolution in its use. Imagine a bustling Roman marketplace where merchants peddle bars of soap not just as a cleaning agent but as an essential part of personal hygiene and wellness. The Romans, known for their grand bathhouses and meticulous grooming habits, were quick to recognize the value of soap. They introduced new ingredients into the mix, including beeswax and various plant extracts, enhancing the soap's quality and texture. But the Romans didn't stop at mere innovation. They turned soap use into a societal norm. Public bathhouses, the epicenter of Roman social life, were where the magic happened. People would gather, not just to cleanse, but to socialize, discuss politics, and even conduct business, all while luxuriating in the rich, soothing lather of soap. The Romans also understood the health benefits of soap. Ancient Roman texts revealed that they considered soap instrumental in preventing diseases and maintaining overall wellness. It was a tool for cleanliness, yes, but also a symbol of a healthy lifestyle. However, it wasn't all smooth sailing. The Roman Empire's fall led to a decline in soap's popularity in some regions. Yet, you know, its influence persevered. So the techniques and principles they developed became the foundation for future soap-making advancements. Interestingly, the word soap itself is believed to have Roman roots. Yeah, it's thought to be derived from Mount Sapo, a mythical location where animal sacrifices took place, 
rainwater mixing with the animal fats and ashes was said to produce a rudimentary form of soap, which washed down into the Tiber River where women were washing clothes. Whether the tale is true or not, it certainly adds a layer of intrigue to our soap story, don't you think? And so, through the Romans, soap began to lather its way into daily life. The Romans didn't just clean themselves with soap. They embraced it, improved it, and shared it with the world. Paving the way for the soap we know and love today. Transitioning into the medieval period, soap making became a recognized craft in Europe, albeit a luxury few could afford. Imagine a time when cleanliness wasn't a daily expectation, but a symbol of wealth and status. That was the reality in medieval Europe, where soap was an indulgence only the affluent could regularly enjoy. Soap guilds sprang up across the continent, from the aromatic lavender fields of Provence to the bustling markets of London. These guilds were associations of craftsmen who dedicated their lives to perfecting the art of soap making. They guarded their recipes and techniques fiercely, passing them down through generations like precious family heirlooms. However, this precious commodity came with a hefty price tag. The ingredients required for soap making, such as olive oil and soda ash, were expensive and often imported from distant lands. The high costs were then passed on to the consumers, making soap a luxury item beyond the reach of the common folk. Adding to the expense was a series of heavy taxes imposed by rulers who saw soap as a luxury rather than a necessity. In England, for instance, a soap tax was enforced for over two centuries, from the late 1600s until the mid-1800s. This tax further pushed soap out of reach for many, cementing its status as a luxury item. Yet, the craft of soap making didn't dwindle. Instead, it evolved with the times, adapting to new ingredients and techniques as they became available. Soap makers experimented with local resources such as animal fats and plant ashes to create their own unique recipes. Some even ventured into the realm of perfumery, adding fragrant herbs and flowers to their soaps for a touch of luxury. Despite its luxury status, the craft of soap making persisted and evolved. This period of development set the stage for future advancements, paving the way for soap to transition from a luxury item to a household staple. As we'll see in our next segment, the Industrial Revolution played a pivotal role in this evolution, making soap accessible to all. The Industrial Revolution was a turning point, transforming soap making from artisan craft to mass production. This era beginning in the late 18th century, was a period of rapid industrial growth and societal change. For soap, it meant a shift from being a handmade luxury item to a common household necessity. Before the Industrial Revolution, soap was often made at home using animal fat and wood ash. It was a laborious process, and the final product was a luxury that few could afford. But with the advent of the steam engine and mechanization, everything changed. Factories sprang up, churning out goods at an unprecedented rate, and soap was among these mass-produced items. In the mid-19th century, a significant development in soap making occurred. A French chemist named Michel Eugène Chevreul discovered the chemical process of saponification the reaction of an alkali like lye with fats to produce soap. This discovery, along with the invention of the continuous process, which allowed soap to be made in large quantities, revolutionized the soap industry. Then came the marketing efforts, 
Soap manufacturers began to advertise their products aggressively. They promised cleanliness, health, and even social status. Soap was no longer a luxury. It was a means of achieving a better life. This shift in perception was monumental as soap became a staple in households across the socioeconomic spectrum. The Industrial Revolution also saw the introduction of new ingredients into soap. Companies began using vegetable oils instead of animal fats and added perfumes to make the soap smell pleasant. They also started adding chemicals to improve the soap's cleaning power and lathering ability, making it more appealing to the public. But the most significant impact of the Industrial Revolution on soap making was its democratization. Soap became affordable and accessible to all, not just the wealthy. It transformed from a symbol of luxury to a symbol of hygiene and health. With the dawn of industrialization, soap washed away its status as a luxury and flowed into homes everywhere. Stepping into the 20th century, the introduction of synthetic detergents revolutionized the industry. This era marked a significant shift in soap making. The traditional materials, animal fats, and plant oils made way for synthetic compounds. The reason? A shortage of natural fats during the world wars. Necessity, they say, is the mother of invention. And in this case, it gave rise to synthetic detergents. These man-made cleaning agents were not just an alternative to soap. They offered distinct advantages. Detergents could clean more effectively in hard water, and they didn't leave behind a soapy residue. This was a game changer, making cleaning easier and more efficient for households everywhere. The 20th century also witnessed the rise of commercial soap brands. Companies like Procter & Gamble, Lever Brothers, and Colgate Palmolive began to dominate the market. Their products range from bar soaps to liquid soaps and laundry detergents, serving a myriad of cleaning needs. The competition was fierce, and it led to another significant development in the industry. The shift in marketing strategies. Gone were the days when soap was just a luxury item or a simple cleaning necessity. Soap became a household staple, a symbol of hygiene and health. Marketing campaigns focused on the benefits of cleanliness and personal care. Advertisements showcased happy, healthy families. Reinforcing the idea that using their soap um, would lead to a better lifestyle. Soap, in short was sold not just as a product, but as a promise of cleanliness, comfort, and care. The 20th century saw soap reinvent itself yet again, molding to the needs and demands of a changing world. From synthetic detergents to commercial brands and marketing strategies, soap continued to evolve, reflecting the progress of society in the shifting patterns of consumer behavior. And as we'll see in our next segment, this evolution is far from over. Today, we witness a resurgence of interest in artisanal, handcrafted soaps, a nod to our natural roots. This revival is more than a mere trend. It's a testament to the enduring appeal of the simple, the genuine, and the handcrafted. In a world where mass production is the norm, the appeal of artisanal soap lies in its individuality. Each piece is unique, shaped by the hands of its creator, infused with their passion and creativity. The artisan's touch brings life to the mundane, turning an everyday item into a work of art. But the allure of handmade soap goes beyond aesthetics. It's also about substance, the use of natural ingredients, free from harsh chemicals and synthetic additives. These soaps are often crafted with a variety of plant-based oils, natural clays, essential oils, and botanical extracts, offering a gentle, nourishing cleanse that respects the skin and the environment. 
Moreover, these artisanal soaps are often made using traditional methods, such as the cold process or the melt and pour technique, which allow for a high degree of control over the ingredients and their proportions. This attention to detail results in a product of superior quality with a rich, creamy lather and a long-lasting fragrance. The resurgence of artisanal soap making also reflects a broader societal shift towards sustainability and conscious consumption. Many soap makers are committed to ethical sourcing, waste reduction, and eco-friendly packaging aligning their craft with the principles of the circular economy. Finally, the artisanal soap movement is about community. It brings together makers and consumers who share a common appreciation for craftsmanship, natural beauty, and mindful living. It's a space for learning, sharing, and supporting small businesses and local economies. In the cycle of history, we find ourselves appreciating once again the art and craft of soap making. It's a humble reminder that sometimes the old ways are worth preserving and that a simple bar of soap can tell a story of tradition, innovation, and care. This journey through soap's history reflects not only our technological progress, but also our ongoing quest for cleanliness and comfort. From its humble beginnings in ancient civilizations, through the luxuriant Roman baths, the craft guilds of medieval Europe, the mass production of the Industrial Revolution, and the introduction of synthetic detergents in the 20th century. Soap has been a constant companion in our lives. Today, we see a revival of artisanal soap making, a nod to natural ingredients and sustainable practices. This cyclical journey of soap is a testament to our evolving relationship with cleanliness, health, and the environment. I hope this deep dive into the history of soap has inspired you and also gave a sense of curiosity. Subscribe to my channel and write your comments down below. Once again, this is Kathy, the Clumsy Soper.